Welcome to Civil Cal Learn Solutions help videos. So in this session, I'm going to go over how to create a sewer system for a subdivision. So here I got a simple subdivision. I got several, probably about five networks, uh, alignment networks for my sewer. I'm going to go through that process using our app. So I'm going to go into our tab here for CCLS tools, click on the create multiple networks and select our sewer lines. So here's our main lines. I think there's about five of these. Okay, and we got that one and that one. All right, that completes all of them. Now, on the top, upper left, this is where I can set the network. It's not the alignment, it's really the network, but I'm gonna just go through the process and adding these networks. Now, there will be a new update here pretty soon where we can see a whole list and you can add them all at one time, one by one within one dialog box. I'm gonna go through here, add all up to five. And maybe you add a preset, we'll probably add a preset too. So some of these will be there automatically. We understand that everybody labels their alignments and networks differently. Also, oh. all right. And I'm gonna go ahead, just select one for now, surface elevation, but I can maybe do a rule set. Let's just see what happens. Um, you know what, we'll do surface and we'll say maintain a five foot of cover for all of them. Okay, add vertices, no. And we'll follow the propose. And then the second surface is existing just in case the network or the manhole is outside a proposed surface. Okay, and then we'll say from in the start, sewer network, PVC, eight inch sewer. Okay, it would be a manhole. Oops, said manholes. These are my parts. So we want a four foot standard manhole. Okay, so if I slide this over and then click on here, you can see it's kind of highlighted what network that is. Those are in the same network. That's in the same network. I can see that's in the same network here also. And that one, and then this one's a different one. So I'll say that one is S2 for my network. Okay, then I'll hit apply network name at the bottom. And if I go at the bottom here, and say create, these are gonna create the alignments. So here, that's SS1, this will be SS2. And then that one, I can see it's highlighted here, so I'll say that's three, four, and let's see here, that would be five. And I'll say this is six. And then seven is this one right here. I can see it's highlighted. On our next update, we're gonna see if we can maybe just change the color. Maybe it's something white, that way it's obvious. There we go, and then I'm gonna select my sewer uh, alignment labels. There we go. All right, and I can make this smaller if I need to. Now there's a button here if you wanted to include a manhole every 500 feet. If there is something beyond 500 foot, you can include right here this button, okay? Uh, the weeding is, if this was actually a water line, you have a weeding where it adds knolls and it's, you know, the ground is going up and down. So um, you can add knoll structure to try to maintain coverage. All right, so let me double check real quick, five foot of cover, let's look at it real quick. Okay, create, and let's see if it creates our network. There we go. I can see it created all my networks for my sewer. Now let's go ahead and create a profile. That's our other app, multiple profiles. And then there's our network. I'm gonna hit settings to make sure I've got the right settings here. Okay, if we left and right, okay. So it's looking at for those wild cards for SD, SS, and W for my alignments. I'm gonna say uh, apply. And now I'm gonna to go to my surface. It recognizes which surface it needs to align for the style and the profile styles. I'm gonna go into profile view. The next one, hit apply. That way, if a, if a profile is too long, it'll actually chop it at a certain station at 1000 and go to the next profile. I can add some band sets. Let's see if I have some band sets in here. I probably do, here we go. There we go. Hit next. All right, nothing there. Hit next. And there is no existing profiles. I'll hit next and I only want my sewer crossings if they're crossing each other and I'll say create. I'll put it here to the side. 
and there we go. So we created the profiles. As you can see here, it's trying to hold that rule of thumb. And same thing there. You can see there's there's lay, um, there's uh, flow line data sets at the bottom. It's created all the profiles. And then I can turn around and use our other profile label. So profile network labels. You can have some presets for sewer. Okay. And I can say most of these are probably going right to left. Okay, right to left. Top, 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 sewer. So now I'm going to add my labels. I'm going to make sure I'm in the right layer. Let's go get on the uh, profile view text. Okay. And here we go. So there's my presets, as you can see here. And okay, we want top of structure, top of uh, view grip with grip. It's going to anchor to the top. Bottom of structure, anchor to bottom grip. Okay, just in case, I'm going to put this on profile view text. There we go. And that should be it. Let's go select our part. Any of our parts. And let's see how many we can label. And there you go. You can see it labeled all the manholes, all the pipes. And then the ones that are not labeled is because it's probably on a different network. Like this right here. These, uh, these two are on a different network. So then I'll come in here and select that one. Pipe or structure. And I like that. And I think it's this one. And there we go. So if you have all the presets, you can actually create all your networks, create the alignments, create the profiles within five minutes for a subdivision. Now this one's probably 175, if I remember right, lot subdivision. You can do the same thing with a storm, or you can do both of them at the same time. So storm, and you can also do water. So you've got some uh, gravity water parts you created. Um, you can actually create the waters at the same time. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and thank you for using our app. Thanks, bye.